Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Righteous Fire Inquisitor, kind of in late map progression. Um, sorry, this is still the same day for me, so uh, I'm doing my best to try to recap, but I haven't slept in uh, quite a bit. So let us go ahead and recap and do our best. So first things first, um, I've actually kind of done quite a lot. We've done uh, Maven, that's actually where I ended. The Maven fight was a little rippy, but we did it deathless, so that was pretty fun. And that our two Void Stones, those were kind of a joke. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and talk to you guys about the progression, because I know people are going to be asking a lot about this. I was originally going to sleep, but instead of sleeping, I saw that a bunch of people were complaining. Not complaining, but more so curious about how red map progression would work, so I just wanted to go ahead and showcase also, on our Maven kill, I dropped the impossible escape that I need for the build, so that's kind of like getting really spooned, but that was, you know, kind of really lucky, so I just put that right over there. So, first off, to talk about, uh, before I continue, talk about the, the little whatever this stuff is called. I originally started with the one that's called, like, Oath of the Maj, or Ma Magi, Ma Magi, whatever it's called, uh, where basically I did not wear anything in my boots, so I gained Giga Movement Speed, and then I pivoted over into this, and I actually haven't found any like things to get the charm slots but my first one i'm going to use here is chance to gain endurance charge i think and then i'll probably worry about like getting onslaught and maybe some life regen we'll, we'll figure it out okay so with that being said i want to go ahead and jump into some red maps so let me just get like a tier 16 here is an underground river uh let's see what we can do to this let's alk it up uh okay looks good 30 percent monster life that's good so right now in this character, this might look a little daunting, but before, you know, before we jump a little ahead, let me just show. Currently running on a five link righteous fire from an Atula's Hunger. So Atula's Hunger, if we were to go take a look at this really fast, uh, is not nearly as rare as I assumed it was gonna be. So I'm just gonna show on POE Trade right now to show the prices here. Um, Atula's Hunger is pretty much as cheap as well, you can kind of see it here. Not that expensive. Of course, if you're going to look for one with like a near perfect life roll, then yeah. But like, here's one for 70 chaos with 982 life, for example. 50 chaos with 971. So your body armor is pretty good to go. I'm rocking a five link. So I'm running Ellie Focus, Righteous Fire, Life Tap, Swift Affliction, and Burning Damage. Now, um, one of the other things I have my weapon is probably less than a chaos. It's literally Fire Dot Multi with Crafted Fire Damage. I'm running a Devoto's Devotion just kind of for speed clearing. Dex is nice for fire trap. Attack speed is nice for shield charge. Chaos res is good, etc. Um, I'm running this Apple's frame, but I am noticing like very high physical attack burst. So a little concerned on running this the whole way through, but it's been working so far. Uh, jewelry is just pretty much to res cap myself. Same thing with this one over here. I actually completely forgot. Uh, I was supposed to use a new amulet I found with Dot Multi, and I think my dumbass may have vendored it. That, that sucks if so let's not talk about that all right so uh yeah so then there's replica soul tether over here replica soul tether is a key component to getting this build to work so let me just come over here and search real fast so replica soul tethers there's actually quite a few of them and they're not even that expensive so those two things between the atulas and the replica soul tether give you so much damage like so much because i go from like 3,000 life to like 5,600, and then the replica soul tether is a bunch of ES. So, you know, without further ado, let me just go ahead and jump into this T16 map located. Where did I put it? Oh, okay, I already set it up. The tooltips so my righteous fire is 320k, and my fire trap is uh, 152. I do have a cluster jewel set up right here that I kind of went into, which is starting to give me some scaling off of the jewels. But I I was clearing red maps far before this, and it felt it felt okay. For sure, with the Atulas and the Replica Soul Tether, it's pretty crazy. For SSF, it's going to be a bit tougher, obviously, right? I also do have the Legacy of Fury, but I'll be honest with you, the build feels really good even without it at the beginning. Um... I will go ahead and literally just kind of take them off for right now just to show you that the clearing with the Atulas is actually enough, right? Um, it, it honestly doesn't feel that bad at all. Now, obviously, I just lost my 30% movement speed boots, so that's going to feel kind of bad, right? I must have time to... Now, one thing to note about the Righteous Fire nerfs, it's kind of important to understand this. This version that I am playing right now is the experimental version that I kind of talked about, right? 
the experimental version of Righteous Fire uh, is essentially a version where you kind of forego some of your defensive layers uh, and instead scale higher life and energy shield. But it is not crazy expensive like, say, the Mono Righteous Fire build and or the uh, Low Life Righteous Fire Scion build. That being said, the ceiling is not the same at all. So what I mean by the ceiling is this build definitely has like a hard cap where, you know, it's harder to get defensive layers. It's harder to scale your damage past a certain point, but it is league startable and it's not crazy expensive, at least from what I am used to, right? So definitely I would say I could still make this character right here a lot stronger, but there will come a point where it's not really worth investing as much into it anymore. And I'm kind of going to turn more towards trying out, um, you know, one of the other variants. The important thing to kind of talk about with this conversation is basically that the nerfs to Righteous Fire still are definitely there, right? Like, they impact the Aegis Melding version, they impact the Juggernaut version, and, and those versions will still work for sure, but it's more of the scaling. You know, when you're putting 30 Divines into your character, 40 Divines into your character, it's kind of like what you're getting out of it now. So that is where I would say to turn into the Low Life Righteous Fire versions, uh, and still, you know, there needs to be a bit of work before we fully, you know, get to the point where we can make a budget version of them and really see kind of what it is that is required, right? This version, I would say, the one thing I don't like is just the lack of physical mitigation. Here, you'll probably see I will get blasted by these guys. They're ghosted right now, and I, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I have a Saffles frame on, so all hits from, like, attacks just hit me in the face there's no block chance so this is the one thing i'm not really liking and i don't know uh immediate solution towards it so like i was saying the first thing is i'm going to be using i think it's um this one yeah right here 19 percent chance to gain endurance charge when you are hit so this will hopefully help out a little bit with sustaining against that type of damage um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out because I'm real tired. But before I go, I'll just go ahead and flash all my gems for you right now that I'm currently using. And of course, if you want this character, just go ahead and go to my Path of Exile profile or just yoink the POB at Pox Affliction RF. Uh, I'm so tired. I'm not going to drop a POB right away. So I'm just literally going to bed. So I will catch you guys all in the morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, if you liked the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all in Rayclast.